Bambi is the latest album from Hippocampus. We are joined by Zach and Nathan from the band. Welcome back to the Bay. Hi, thank you. Hello. I uh, want to start off with your Minnesota Wild jersey that you have on here, proudly yes. representing. Oh yes. Uh, well, they they played a, they're, they're playing the Blackhawks tonight, so uh, you know I, I I wear this on game days. Um, go Wild! You guys obviously have this new album that's been out in the wild, no pun intended. I like that for some time. This one was kind of like very methodical and done in a very short period of time. Mm. Does it feel good? Are there things you're like, man, I want to redo this live and make it sound better? Um, you know, I think with every project you might have those thoughts where it's like, this isn't quite perfect. I wish we could go back and change that. But that's kind of the, um, the benefit of having a deadline. We didn't really have a deadline for this album. We just kind of gave it to ourselves. It's like, like, you know, you can work on this forever, but don't like just here, this is the end and you'll get there with all the songs and you put them out and you'll be happy. And so far so good. It was, um, yeah, it was a really challenging process. Um, different than Landmark. Um, our first record took about like 10 months to record this one was like four months of recording and then um some post-production stuff but yeah it feels good it was a very um educational process in terms of like recording and different uh, writing styles i find it interesting that a lot of this was started in terms of the writing process during the touring of landmark so you guys were already like you know in the, in the middle of that tour cycle the album was probably not even a year old or what have you mm -hmm. and you're already writing new material and then the approach also was was different in terms of everybody kind of went okay we're going to do our own thing let's go do some homework basically mm -hmm. and write some songs uh, yeah. on our own and then come back together versus making it a compromise type of situation yeah. in, in the studio uh, was it a new experience in terms of individuals or have you individually been writing your own stuff anyway we'd we'd had our experience like on our own um like for years just like making horrible horrible ideas like on like like i used to make beats on logic and you know he makes all these songs on ableton and it's like we had done this for a couple years but um it was it was weird it was like a natural gravitation to like like it wasn't like i'm gonna see you guys later it's like oh i just really kind of like want to chase this for a sec and then it's really exciting to bring that idea formed a little bit deeper back to the group um, and then we can all collaborate there. Yeah, I think personally too, it was interesting to see how um, how much of ourselves we could show like as individuals within this band. Um, mm. uh, I, know, I know Jake would say the same thing, like <clears throat> just spending hours in your bedroom or wherever um, the studio or, or wherever, anywhere, outside, whatever, um, just working on one idea, you kind of question yourself a lot and you get to know yourself pretty well. Um, so that's, uh, and that's what Bambi's about entirely. It right. is really self described. How would you describe the maturation process as a band? Because, you know, Longtime fans will know you guys as good old Stitches, Beans, Espo, and, nice. and Turnton, right? Yeah. Uh, do, they, do those guys still exist, or uh, have we uh, moved on? Good question. Um, as uh, monikers, we've kind of uh, let them be for quite you know a couple of years now. But um, as people, you know, more figuratively, that's a, that's a really interesting question because I think we especially with Bambi, like, tried to find a lot of our own identity, as Nathan was saying, like, within the project, like, oh, this is Whistler's voice here, and this is Jake's voice here, and so on, but, um, I don't know, I, we're the These same These are things people. I think that fans, right, will, 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 yeah, will, will I mean, think about, because right. it, they're, they've been longtime fans, yeah. and they you know, grew up with you. Right. Yeah, it's like, I mean, we want to be able to be who, like, who they think we are, but at a certain point, like, we got to do what's best for us. And it's like, I don't want to be called Stitches anymore. That's okay. You know. Mm. For people that have been listening to Bambi for quite a bit, it, it seems like, wow, there's only this many number of songs. Do you think that there are leftovers, uh, songs that didn't make the cut that may be Always. Surface, surfacing at any point in time? Oh, uh, hopefully. hopefully, yeah. We're kind of working on some things. We're, I mean, we're always I mean, working on things. It's it's just hard to like look at what could have been on the album and like want to give it another honest shot because that was then. 
and like you might love the song and it might be a, a good thing for you as a you know project to release but it's like it's not fresh it's not as honest it's like it's like out of pity somehow like it's like we, oh i'm sorry like, like uh-huh. we worked so hard on you yeah, i don't want to work out leave you here here i'll uh i'll put you on an ep I'll, How about yeah that? i'll put you on an ep <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's really a pity holiday play. ep album yeah, yeah it's exactly just like to feel like we're not disappointing anybody any yeah. of our kids yeah hopefully they'll get released when we die <laughs> yeah would you be okay if uh, Drake or some hip hop artist of that time absolutely took the stems and Whew. that'd be a, some magic and you used your hologram as part yep. of the music video no that's oh, yeah, wow. full endorsement right now um, my estate would be very happy with that I think Elon Musk is going to be the first person to live forever I don't believe that why do you say that I don't know I don't know I don't know why I said that kind of a tangent you kind of derailed yeah. this whole interview well, I, I, I feel was, like you, you know something well why I said it I don't believe it but why I said it well, here's what I was getting to is like if he's gonna live forever he's gonna do everything okay and if he's gonna be the one to do everything that would include the thing least likely to happen which is somebody actually samples our song <laughs> in 50 <laughs> years or 100 years or something like that so he 50 would years wow so he and grimes be, you'd be in your 70s are you yeah. oh we'd be dead we'll be dead by then <laughs> oh really fingers crossed <laughs> yeah exactly. earth is That's heating crazy. up man yeah earth is heating up we're all going down Let's i mean it's it's dark to joke about i know but well do. these are serious things that you talk about on the album too yeah so let's oh dude the pressure of that thought is so heavy i'm 22 are you still you're still, still 22 it's almost been a year Wow, yeah, that's crazy. crazy. And I have dude. like, I can't even get to that money until I'm like 65, and they might even change the age before I get there. Yeah, yeah, you know, <sighs> it's depressing. I appreciate your time. Uh, oh yeah, really dude, thanks. The album, and yeah, thank uh, you. Best of luck with everything. Thanks, thanks for having us. Appreciate it.